a quick new idea daily from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Dr. Saria Chatters is the Director of Equity and Inclusivity at State College Area School District in Pennsylvania. She grew up legally blind and experienced biases and bullying because of her disability, which to some was invisible. Today, she speaks to the great number of people with invisible disabilities and outlines the ways we all need to work towards greater equity through what she calls radical accessibility. My name is Saria Chatters and I am legally blind and I have albinism. Now, I I know it's likely that some of you out there in the audience may have immediately thought to yourself, I would have never guessed she is legally blind. Trust me, I am. Individuals with invisible disabilities are out there more than you know. Our culture and our culture's perception of individuals with disabilities and accessibility has led us to a world in which I believe that parents and caregivers and eventually the individual who is differently able themselves strive to make their disability invisible and or strive toward normal rather than focusing on how their disability may change their experience and in my case, help me literally see the world in a different way. So how do we, as a culture, get to a place in which disability truly means differently abled? Radical accessibility, based on Mia Mingus's concept of liberatory accessibility, centers the voices of individuals who are differently able. Centering the voices and needs of individuals who may have the least access can open up our spaces to everyone, because when we consider the needs of individuals who are differently abled, we are, in a way, making places accessible to all. Now, let me be clear. There is large scale change that needs to happen to make our world radically accessible because the needs of individuals who are differently abled cannot wait. But the exciting part about it all is that we are already on our way. Some large scale traumatic events that have happened in our society over time have caused us to make some changes out of necessity that we may have previously thought to be radical. I would like to offer you some ways, large and small, that we can keep integrating these radical new thoughts and ways of looking at our workplaces and keep moving forward. Let's start with video conferencing. Being legally blind, I am unable to drive from one place to the next. Video conferencing allows me to be able to access places from the comfort of my office. And it can also help individuals who may be differently abled in regards to mobility to be able to access workplaces across the country from the comfort of their own home. Next, I would like to encourage you to say your name. Too often we assume that our faces are memorable and we forget that not every individual has the ability to see our face. By saying your name, you can help individuals who may have visual impairments or may be blind or may be differently able due to memory concerns to be able to focus on the conversation rather than focusing on trying to remember your name. One additional thing I'd like us to think about is to normalize the use of shared digital spaces. Doing this allows individuals to be able to access agendas and PowerPoints for meetings by using the accessibility of their own technology. Using technology can be burdensome, but in this way, it's another way for us to make our workplaces accessible for all. I am gonna challenge us, however, as a society to think even bigger. I challenge us to restructure with the least access in mind. By designing and thinking about individuals who may have the least access in the forefront, I would like you to imagine a world in which accessibility concerns are a thing of the past. Imagine individuals being able to have access to all places and spaces. Imagine the untapped potential our society can benefit from. And now I'd like you to stop imagining and let's get to work. 
The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in University Park, Pennsylvania. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx PSU. Want to listen to the full talk? Find Saria's talk and more at TED.com slash TEDx Shorts. I'm Atos Leone. Thanks for listening and see you next time.